What's up, y'all? I look like who done it, but it doesn't matter because we're here to get our hands dirty. I just thought I would pull out my camera. I didn't really do much preparation in terms of like my appearance. It's late. It's like, I don't know, probably 10 o'clock. But I prepared my seed starting trays. I prepared my seed starting trays this morning because um, I have this day of the week mornings off if that makes sense so anyways i'm gonna let you guys know what i already did i recorded some clips of me doing this so for the most part it'll just be me giving a brief explanation but i do want to make sure that i include the steps so that i can actually let you guys know what i did to get what i'm getting so so now we're here you can see um that i added a couple additional things well really um just this my grow light this is what is gonna actually make some sunlight, sunlight for uh, my seedlings as you know flashback you know second grade um that's that and water and of course the growing medium the dirt are the three basic things that they need but i'm gardening inside and so i you know after doing research i had these since last year but um, when i first started doing gardening research i was like oh there are these things that you can buy that actually mimic sunlight so this is one of those things you know where yes it's an investment for me it's worth it um so yeah and as you might imagine as these grow right these are little seedlings but each one of these little pods you know, it's gonna grow into its own plant. And so these, you know, are won't be able to cover like a big old pot's worth of plants, um, not all of these. And so I definitely will have more come the time that they actually grow to size. But this is where we're at, everything else is the same. And I thought it would be cool to show you guys. You saw me fill up the water underneath the tray. So this is uh, what the seed starting tray comes with. Once you buy one, you get the pods and then you get the bottom tray when I filled it up with water and let it soak by the time I got home from work you can see all that water was soaked up you see it's pretty much dry up under there um, and dry because all of the water is now in the soil so now our soil is moist which is what we want you can see that moisture yeah right up in there all that moisture I did, um, of course, examine once I got home so I can check. And there were a few dry spots. I just took a water bottle, I have these little ones, um, use it as a watering can. I took a knife, stuck a hole in it, just watered in the little spots that were dry. I felt around with my fingers, all of that. If you didn't know, um, gardening is very hands-on. It's like caring for babies, for real. No, it's not, but I like the analogy that, you know, people call themselves like a plant mom and all of these things, because just like anything that's um, natural and an organism, it takes care and attention and skill to just be able to know what it needs and actually, you know, give it what it needs. By skill, I just mean you have to pay attention to it and recognize, you know, what it is. And thankfully gardening, I feel like, you know, the earth isn't very complicated for the most part. There's a lot of details and things that you can research that help, sure. But for the most part, just use your senses. If the soil feels dry, add some water, you know? So I'm gonna sit down with you guys and go through the seeds, the vegetable seeds that I have. This is the fun part. I'm sitting here actually right next to my, uh, in my little makeshift growing station. Humble beginnings, y'all. I said this in my goals video, which you should already know what I'm hinting at because you're obviously caught up on all my videos. But we gotta work with what we got, you know? Um, I obviously don't have land, so I would've put my seeds in actual dirt and, you know, in the actual elements, but it's never impossible to start. Gardening is one of those things where all the experience you can get helps. Um, and it's it's fun, it's healthy. You guys know how much I care about putting good quality, the best quality food into my body because we all know that the supermarkets ain't it. And this is how you can do it at home. So you guys will see that I am very much one of those people who loves exploring the different varieties that I can get with food. First things first, beans. I have your standard typical green bean here, but then I also have gold beans. The variety, as you can see on the top, is Gold Rush. And I have some purple, or they call them burgundy beans. I have kale, dazzling blue. Keep in mind, guys, that there's multiple varieties. You know, this is, you know, if you're new to gardening, gardening obviously some of you may already know, but there's multiple varieties of everything. So this is, in fact, kale. It's a, not the kind of kale that you might be used to seeing. Um, for all of you guys on my channel that may, you know, maybe haven't gardened before, are used to your standard vegetables, I would love to introduce you to some new things. You feel me? Spinach, tomatoes, brandy wine, which are um, really beautiful and flavorful. I've never grown them myself, but I've heard. Another variety of tomato. This is a bush variety. Um, it's a yellow uh, cherry tomato, which I'm really excited to taste. They look like they are very sweet and prolific and um, abundant. Doesn't this just look beautiful, y'all? Can you imagine going inside your kitchen and just 
Mm. Cabbage, got some red cabbage. Carrots, I have the Scarlet Nancy's variety. I have some melons. So also if you're wondering, um, things like melons and I think the beans too will take a trellis. That is something that I will be sure to provide for them once I transplant them. Peppers, cause we gotta have some bell peppers. Parsley, flat leaf because curly parsley don't do nothing. Cilantro, lemon balm because we love a good citrusy medicinal herb and lastly this is the last thing on uh that i have um i got a flower and i just thought they were so beautiful the african daisy i looked them up and i was like wow that's just you know that's gonna add so much if we were outside this would i'm sure help with pollination so flowers that actually do a lot more than just look pretty for your garden they obviously attract bees um and that's huge but for me they're just to look pretty Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that I, I didn't like record all the way to the end of the tray. That's obviously super tedious and you guys just saw it sped up four times. Um, so it obviously was not that speed in real life and me recording the whole thing would take up a lot of footage. But you guys got the gist. It's obviously a repetitive process. Now the real fun begins. Um, as some would say, the patience begins, <laughs> but it's also the fun. You get to come back every day. Like the feeling that you get when you walk past this and you see a little a <laughs> little sprout coming out it's like oh my goodness it's so rewarding like wow watching life grow before your eyes just in case anyone is wondering if you didn't know which you should because you're obviously caught up on all my videos like you should be but in my last video i mentioned how i've been sick and how it's been affecting my eyes so you can see now that my eyes look kind of red on camera um i'm not high i'm not like <laughs> none of that um yeah i've just been sick and my eyes have been irritated and itchy and stuff so i'm okay though y'all i promise <laughs> that's it for this one wish my little seedlings good luck or better yet pray over them um if you have gardens i would love to do the same leave a comment let's pray over our seedlings this year for abundance for growth and uh, provision for whoever, if it's just you, for you, or for whoever you live with. I wish you the best tasting vegetables that um, you've ever had. I'll of course give you guys an update as it goes, but um, yeah, thanks for coming along this journey with me. We are bringing our goals into fruition. So this is the um, actual, you know, groundwork of what I talked about in my goals video. Yeah, I've been doing good this year, just in general, but you guys get to see the different aspects of me, you know, implementing and putting in the work in all these different parts of my life so that's really cool and i'm glad that you're here i will see you guys in my next one four days later